What is going on YouTube? Skiz1 here and today I thought we'd do something a little different. Um, it's a beautiful day out here as you can tell. My Canada geese friends over here agree and behind me here I have a really a whole gallery of incredible artwork that a lot of different artists have worked really hard on. When you're near any kind of decent line of train cars, in my opinion, you should always take a look. See what's happening in your community, pay homage to a few of the artists out there, putting in a lot of work, putting in a lot of time and effort. And you know what, it's just, it's it's a very inspirational thing to do for me. Whenever I look at uh, anyone else's work on these trains and, and see the level of commitment they have, <clears throat> it's, it's a super inspiring thing. It can really help your graph out. Uh, just to get inspired sometimes. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna um, Run through some of these trains look around see what we got here I'm gonna assume most of these writers a lot of them I, I do know are Canadian But I'm gonna assume most of the writers here are Canadian. Let's take a look and see what we got. So the first piece we have here is uh, It's a rasp piece Very very nicely done You know they kept it uh, fairly simple in terms of design but overall it's incredibly clean and that's really what you should be worried about most of the time especially with these uh, panel cars so I'm gonna try and uh, show you some of the tags that appear here too and uh, just try and shout out as many artists as we can here because honestly this is this is a really really great line of cars I was really excited to come across this Another thing you're going to notice here, unfortunately, is that almost every single one of these boxcars has a bird's nest in it. So if I get attacked by birds, that's too bad for me, I guess. Eventually, I'm going to be able to get a bit of a better view of these. I'll be able to step back further down the tracks here and get more of a wide view of a lot of these uh, pieces here so we got a core piece here a very nice use of the negative space I like his uh, choice of contrast and colors there and again just little highlights like this make such a huge difference uh, in the detail of your piece and if you can put them sort of in spots where these nice uh, rails are not going to be messing with your technique. It can really assist uh, your piece. Got butter there. That Robin is super angry at me, I can tell. Got a go tell piece here. Oh, there's the babies. I don't want to mess with them. She's going to kill me. Enjoying the fill on this piece, super nice really like uh, their effect they did at the top of the letter there. Like in this one, it's a Buddhist piece. B-U-D-I-S. Clean and simple. That's the way to go sometimes. Nice little throw. Again, very creative use of a lot of the colors here. So that's a sumps piece. I, re I really like this background effect they've got going on there. That's super nice. You 
going to try and step through and show you this rotes piece. They uh, clearly used uh, all the same colors, so I'm going to assume they're uh, in the same crew. Got a post piece here. Romeo, nice. Very nice use of some funky colors with uh, this one here. I'm liking that one. Very nice sort of uh, text type or font type work there. Very consistent. And you know, it's good to see some different stuff like that. Now this piece here is nuts. And I'm just loving this guy. That is clearly next level stuff right there. Beautiful work. We got Lord on that one. And his buddy over here to the left swore. Again, just amazing work. And this kind of work is, is some of my favorite because it shows you that without a super complicated style or anything, you can really put down something that uh, legitimately looks very impressive. And that's uh, some of my favorite work right there. Sworns, I should say. So we're going to try and make it through our... Yeah. How the fuck do we get past this? Oh, easy. Yeah, so uh, someone apparently has beef with Hoagie. That's not cool. Um, beef within the community. It's obviously been a thing for a long, long time, but frankly, it doesn't help any of us out. And uh, I would like to see it go away. That's my personal opinion on it. So we got something interesting there. Jesus Christ. And we're alive. Just in time to see a little Kev throw. I'm really digging that little guy, that little guy right there. He's cool. He's a cool guy. Too bad that guy's character got cut off. Looks like it was a good one. That character, on the other hand, did not get cut off. That one's a vein piece. Um, again, too bad I'm on the wrong side of it, but... Very interesting style there. Got a bant piece, nice. Now that is a noose piece, N-E-W-S-E. -E. Um, and I'm gonna t tell you this, I'm, I'm pointing it out specifically because they made very good use of a dark fill-in against a lighter background. That dark fill-in really uh, makes the piece quite powerful. Um, just on the natural yellow background there. It's important to consider the environment that you're painting in sometimes and how your color choice can uh, be used effectively with the environment. Noose is a wicked name, by the way. I like that. And let me know in the comments, too, if any of these people are people you guys know, uh, friends of people you know, or if they are you, that would be even awesomer if I can showcase some people's work who are subscribed to the channel. But we got a Gammon one here, nice. Looks like he's uh, working on his dial. <laughs> First I thought that said ghetto, but... <laughs> Chetto, nice. Again, very clean font style. Um, that kind of thing can be very powerful. The uniformity of uh, that kind of style, if you can pull it off cleanly. Very nice.
Nice. Again, character getting covered up by some stuff. Not cool. Really liking the fill color here, actually. It's just a white with two, uh, two grays, but it works, you know? Looks like his little friend over here uh, painting with him, too. That's pretty dope. I like his character work there, too, as well. And a nice little gumball machine. I like that. That's the thing, if you can work in a little bit of creativity like that, it really helps your pieces out sometimes. An arid piece. By the way, that guy up there, he's everywhere. Everywhere. Robin, shut the hell up. Got some nice stuff there. A cop here. I'm really feeling that one. Got an eyes piece. You know what? Since I know there's a super cool one here on the other side, um, I'm gonna show you it. Something special, a little bit special here. Um, there's a couple before it, but you're gonna see a mech right here in a second. That one's dope too. But then, of course, look at what we got there. See, this is why it's such a rewarding experience. You get to see a lot of uh, really high quality artists uh, work, especially like macro. When you, run, when you run into a piece like that, you gotta feel a little lucky. Um, but yeah. I think it's getting a little long here, so I'm gonna cut it off here. If you guys wanna see a part two, let me know in the comments and I'll upload a part two of it. Um, always lots of trains to look at. So if you guys think you like this sort of shout out format of walking the line, seeing what's new, let me know. And I'll definitely uh, get some more out there for you. Until my next one, peace.